The IRMT uh, is another of about 13 projects funded by CERTIP ESTCP. The other 12 projects are actually research projects. But as we began to review the study plans and talk with the principal investigators of those projects, we realized that they all had a number of things in common, most of which was they were going to do the same work at the same place at the same time. And it kind of came out of the vision of Kurt Preston, the program manager for ESTCP um, and CERTIP, who said, you know, what he wanted was for all of these different data collections to be better harmonized. That is, share one another's data, use some standards so that each other could use the data. In particular, fire modelers who don't do as much field work but need desperately need these um, observations in field experiments. So without requiring the principal investigators to rewrite their proposals or need more funding, we figured out a way to stand up this IRMT so that they could coordinate and the principal investigators, share data, uh, share plots, and actually scale from very you know centimeter scale measurements all the way up to satellite measurements concurrently. So we have been able through this IRMT structure to facilitate all of these scales taking place at the same place, from satellite to uh, helicopter based to tower based to terrestrial lidar on the ground and centimeter scale fuel measurements and three dimensional fuel modeling all at the same place. And the whole purpose was that we got all these projects that come together on fire that study different aspects of fire, but it's basically historically not a lot of cross communication. But start, this group know each other, and they have tried this before with RX Cadre back in the past, and they start laying those networks and those foundations because usually people like to keep their data, their information, their techniques to themselves because they don't want people to scoop them and go publish it. But all these people out here been playing nicely and sharing and integrating, and I've been part of that, com that communication aspect of allowing them to get together and share this wealth of knowledge and their techniques. So one of the things that we have worked on over the course of the last you know, 18 months or so is have determined a really good uh, data management system that's out there that's managed by the Department of Energy and we have gotten written agreement from the principal investigators that they will manage their data using those standards and manage it in that database, which allows sharing of data, you know, easy sharing of data, even if it's not published, it's, if it's in draft form, it allows uh, you know, the projects to interact with each other in ways that have not been possible before. So that's really one of the, the big successes of what's going on with this collaborative research. So part of the excitement of a project like this is, is the potential for synergy. So we've got I don't know, 50 some scientists all con converging on a, on a single event and a single landscape. So we've already started developing um, relationships with say the satellite scientists who are interested in our below canopy observations of heat. How does that compare to the above canopy where the trees themselves are absorbing some of the energy it can help them you know, improve their measurements. We're working with the smoke team. You know, they're, they're really interested in our heat measurements that are going to loft the smoke that they were measuring. So there's all the these you know inter you learn about these other areas that you know you're not an expert in, but you find out that oh my data is actually useful to their field. So the synergy is really one of the most exciting things. And working with Fort Stewart too, we're working side by side with the land managers, having these sidebar conversations where we're having um, you know we're talking about our science, they're talking about their management. We're both learning from each other, and uh, you know we both come out winners from those conversations. Yeah.